I'm going to pass the torch over to our special mystery guest. And I'm just going to stop sharing so you can meet our guest. And then I will reshare again because they have some things they want to share with you. So is our mystery guest still with us? They might have had a real earth emergency that they had to tend to. I am the Lorax, and I speak for the trees, which we seem to be using as fast as we please. It is my strong belief that many children and adults are feeling helpless and hopeless these days as a result of extreme weather events caused by global climate change and other horrendous catastrophes. Over my 40 odd years working for a healthy environment for all creatures great and small, I have come to the conclusion that planting trees and shrubs is the best way to help kids and adults feel they are making a difference. I have never seen anyone not feel great about planting a tree. Looking through hundreds of pictures I've taken over the years to select a few for this Wild Wednesday, I had the opportunity to relive many wonderful experiences planting with kids. One similarity with all the pictures is the satisfied, contented looks on everyone's faces. We have planted along rivers and streams, in parks, and on school grounds, in backyards, along trails, and beside city streets. We have planted anywhere we could get permission to do some good. Some folks believe that clever science and technology will remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and save our precious ecosystems. Do you think it's more likely we can plant trees or buy our way forward with more machines? We already have the perfect machine. It's called a tree. As I always say, Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. So build a pollinator garden. Prevent invasive species. Build pocket forests. Do a naturescape project. Or create your own project with the tools we are going to give you. But do something to make us all hopeful again. Please join me in making the Lorax pledge as follows. I pledge to the Lorax and this little tree, I will plant you with love and plant you with glee. I'll give you clean water and feed you fresh air, lots of good soil and weed you with care. I'll choose a good spot with big room to glow, grow, ask for permission. So everyone knows it's a place for the critters to live and to nest so they can all eat all the seeds and I'll do my best. I'll come back when I'm 50 and see what we've done, stored lots of carbon and had lots of fun. Thank you so much, Lorax. We know you're so busy helping the earth and we're so happy that you have so many helpers. So um, I think now it's time for 